Hello everyone, we're back with another session of our Microtech hardware series, and in this tutorial, we want to introduce the CCR2116 12G 4S Plus, one of Microtech's most powerful Ethernet routers to date. The CCR2116 12G 4S Plus, which entered Microtech's list of Ethernet routers a short time ago, is currently priced at $995 US dollars. As its product code suggests, this device is a cloud core router that comes with a single boot and management Ethernet port on its Ethernet port number 13, as well as a 16 core CPU. Also, this device has three sets of four 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, as well as four 10 gigabit SFB Plus ports. As you can see, the four SFB Plus ports are located on the left, and the 12 gigabit Ethernet ports have been divided into three groups of four. To the right, you have an RJ45 serial console port and Ethernet port number 13, which is designated for management purposes. On the back, you have two power supplies to the left and four active cooling fans to keep the device up and running. Regarding technical specifications, the CCR2116, similar to other new market routers, uses the ARM 64-bit CPU architecture and has a frequency of 2 GHz. It comes with a level 6 router OS license and only works with router OS version 7, which means it cannot be downgraded to a previous version. This router has a RAM of 16 GB and a local storage of 128 MB. Also, it has an average lifetime of about 200,000 hours at 25 degrees Celsius and works from the minus 20 degrees to 60 degrees Celsius. In terms of powering, as shown previously, the CCR2116 has two 100 to 240 volt power supplies, a maximum power consumption of 72 watts, and four active cooling fans. This router is equipped with a total of 13 Ethernet ports. Number 1 to 12 are used for connections over a network, and number 13 is designated for router management. Also, it has four SFB Plus ports, an RJ45 serial console, and a single M2 memory slot that supports SSD storages of up to 8 terabytes. Finally, similar to various other micro routers, this hardware has monitors for its CPU and PCB. The block diagram of this router shows us the separate connections of its SFB Plus ports, as well as its three four-port Ethernet clusters through a switch chip. Moreover, as you can see, Ethernet port number 13, also known as the boot and management port, has a completely independent connection to the CPU. As for the CCR2116's SFB compatibility, this device works with a number of 1G SFB, 10G SFB+, or 25G SFB28 modules, all of which are listed in the columns of these tables. When it comes to test results, you can see the impressive yield of the CCR2116 based on different modes, configurations, and packet sizes. Of course, these numbers are based on an all-port test and can increase even further based on different types of usages. You should also note that we do not have IPsec test results for this router as it doesn't support traffic encryption. As an example of the exceedingly powerful performance of this router, we can compare it to a previous customer favorite device, namely the CCR 1036 12G4 SEM in a typical fast path routing configuration. Whereas the 1036 transmits around 16,000 megabits per second, the 2116 goes up to almost 40,000 megabits. Also, while the 1036 passes 1,300 kilopackets, the 2116 is able to transmit more than 3,200 kilopackets. Furthermore, the BGP performance of the 1036 with a version 6 router OS takes somewhere between 2 to 3 minutes, while the 2116 using the version 7 router OS takes around 30 seconds, which gives you a performance of about 6 times faster. 
As a result of such unprecedented performance regarding Microtik Ethernet routers, you do well to consider certain parameters as always before making a purchase. Starting with your type of usage, number of simultaneous users on your network, packet numbers and sizes, available bandwidth, and traffic type in terms of encryption. As for industries and solutions, the CCR2116 is suitable for small to medium businesses with more than 50 users, including ISPs and WISPs and providers of managed IT services. The notably fast performance of this router also benefits large data companies such as surveillance service providers, data centers and VoIP service businesses. Education centers, government organizations and manufacturers can also put this device to good use given their high number of users. The same goes for hotels and healthcare organizations since they can also benefit from the maximized uptime of this router. And finally, the agriculture and transportation industries are the other sectors that can utilize the CCR2116. With regard to networking solutions, you can establish VPN configurations with this router, though you should bear in mind that it doesn't offer traffic encryption. Dynamic routing protocols like BGP and OSPF, as we saw previously, are one of the main strengths and usages of this router. It can also be used to generate hotspots and fulfill wireless controller and AAA purposes. Firewalls, network monitoring and DNS filtering are other activities that you can perform with this router, which can also be used as a cloud-hosted router. And of course, white labeling is also an option if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching. As always, we eagerly await any and all questions in the comments section and make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss our future tutorials.